Shoppers are out in full force this weekend for the state's annual tax-free weekend, which means you don't have to pay taxes on most clothing, footwear, and back-to-school items. That saves shoppers about $8 on every $100 they spend. KFDM reporter Leslie Rangel joins some shoppers. She has the story. Tax-free weekend brings out shoppers looking to save a buck or two, but the large crowds were scarce at Parkdale Mall today. Actually, I'm surprised that there hadn't been more crowds, but we got an early start. Do you think that shirt, that pink shirt that you got is going to match? An early start that Bridget Gilder and her daughters are glad they made. It's just like a lot of the sizes run out and it's always people like trying to get that last item if it's like limited. So. Looking through a rack can sometimes be a headache, but shoppers are expected to save nearly $65 million this weekend alone, making that a big enough incentive for shoppers to come out and spend. Well, gosh, when we heard it was tax-free weekend, we just had to take advantage of that. I'm shopping for three, so I have to save every chance I get. The average consumer will spend nearly $700 this year for a child to go back to class. Gilder says she has a daughter starting eighth grade and one starting her senior year of high school. She wants to hold on to every moment before her oldest heads off to college. She wants to get best dressed this year because next year she's on her own. So, she you know, this is mama's last time doing the back to school shopping thing for her. One mother's last time for fashion savings and a financial lesson to be learned for a student headed off to college next year. In Beaumont, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News. The National Retail Federation says back-to-school shopping is the second largest consumer event right behind the winter holidays. The tax-free weekend ends Sunday night. For a complete list of items, just log on to our website at kfdm.com.